Hi and welcome in this video from the Getting Started with Prosim Plus video series. The topic of this video will be thermodynamics and compounds. First, it's important to note that the thermodynamic model selection is a crucial step in the building of a simulation. That's why all Prosim customers have an access to the tech support team. Our experts will help you to find the best way to model your process of course, depending on your condition, for example, temperature, pressure, and compounds. So let's start by clicking on this little green vessel button named Thermodynamics and Compounds to see the Thermodynamic Calculators Editor. So what is a calculator? A calculator is a set of compounds associated with its thermodynamic model. You can add up to five calculator to each simulation file. To edit a calculator, you just have to double click on it. The first tab in the calculator editor is the compounds tab. By default, this compounds list is empty and we'll have to select the compounds. Here you have the search result window. On the left, you can see several ways to search for a compound. You can search by name, by cast number, by chemical formula, and so on. You can also see all the databases on the computer. So here, we will search for compounds in the standards 2015 database. Let's start by typing the name of the first compound and hit the Enter key. You can see on the center the results of this search. To select a compound, we will just double click on it to send it in the right column named Selected Compounds. Here it is. We will do the same for our second compound, Ethanol. Double click and here it is in the selected compounds list. If we hit the close button, we will see our compounds tab with our two compounds. Very interesting feature, if you double click on a compound, it will open the compound editor. In the compound editor, you will see all the properties of this pure compound sorted by category. If you want to change a property, you just have to click on it and to input your new value. To save it, you click on the OK button. Important note, even if you save your modifications, the pure compound from the database will not be altered. So now I have my full list of compounds. Now I can switch to the second tab, Model. So the most suitable model for a system, for our water ethanol system, is the NRTL model. If you look for NRTL in the profile list, you will see that the list of the thermodynamic models available in Prosim Plus is quite complete. So we will sort by category and choose heterogeneous approach to find more easily the NRTL model. And by clicking on NRTL, you can see that all these options have been set by default. Of course, if you're an advanced user, you can modify all these options. You can also see that a binary tab appeared. If you click on it, you can see here, the list of all the binaries that you can do with your compounds list. Of course, here we have only two compounds, so one binary. Here, you have to input all the binary interaction parameters, BIP, to help the model to fit the experimental results the best way. So if you have your own BIP, you can type here the value 
or you can do an automatic search to ask Procyon Plus to search in the database for this BIP. So to summarize, we have our compounds list, we have selected a suited thermodynamic model and the BIP associated with this model, we can click OK to save everything and OK again to go back to the flow sheeting zone. Let me remind you that all the Prosim software customers have an access to the support team by email or by phone to speak directly with our experts to obtain some help on which thermodynamic model to choose or how to model a very specific process part. This video is now over. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to watch all the other videos available on our YouTube channel.